paths lead to death. Whatever their struggles, whatever their trials, they die. That is wisdom. Welcome to another video, this time featuring the Reaper rotation that I use for tactic content like extreme trials, raids or dungeon bosses. So this is no highly optimized rotation taking each and every possible job combination into account, just a simple way to get started. Also note that most fine tuning stands or falls with the timing of your second arcane circle window. So while openers might work nearly identical, the details are found inside of your so called re-opener, but more to that later. Starting with a small preparation in the form of using so-so somewhere before pulling, in the best case when the dungeon or trial portal opens up. Then you could start off a pre-pull scenario by casting harp just 2 seconds before the tank jumps into combat. But only do that when you cannot get close to the boss either and would have to delay your first melee attack anyways. Other than that, open up combat with shadow of death to immediately grant your target a weakness effect against your incoming attacks which you should keep up basically all the time, followed by an optional potion of strength. Then on single target fights, use your soul slice ASAP, followed by arcane circle and gluttony. The first being your buff cooldown, also granting access to a quick enshroud phase through plentiful harvest. Gluttony, however, should basically be kept on cooldown as it is your best resource gain for soul reaver stacks to use with gibbet and jellos that you're going to use now. But remember, Gibbet and Gallows procced from Soul Reaver stacks must be used as soon as you proc them, otherwise you're wasting their resources if any other ability is being used in between. And the same goes for Guillotine on AoE situations of course. Also know that Gibbet and Gallows always amplify the other attack not used, so you want to alternate between them and position yourself accordingly. Right after these two attacks, we want to use Soul Slice again, but this time not start into the Soul Reaver combo. So to save up your soul gauge points for later and use plentiful harvest to gain a 50 shroud gauge that unlocks your first in shroud, which you should use directly afterwards. Here your gibbet and gallows attacks turn to faster and stronger versions without positionals, so you can smash them in an alternation while making use of the OGCD proc of Lemur Scythe in between. But when you have reached level 90 already, make sure to use your last point of Lemur Shroud for communio, that upon use will finish your in shroud window. Now use your Harvest Moon that we proc before combat and during its recast timer, Bloodstalk. Now all being inside of your potion and arcane circle window. Then even when there might be better ways to use the last seconds of your potion, it is time to reapply Shadow of Death and start into our normal 1 to 3 combo again to enter our filler phase, where all of this is done without the big arcane circle kickstarter and boost. From now on, we basically follow a priority list. First using Gluttony whenever it is ready where I would recommend to keep one stack of soul slice to work as a signaler. Second, keep up your shadow of death buff. Third, never overcap stacks of soul slice or any other gauge points while delaying your enshroud phase as long as possible to fit it into buff windows. Fourth, forget about delaying enshroud, it is just too cool to save it for later. Yes, if you want to optimize, whenever arcane circle comes back up there are two options to fit in two communio skills into a single arcane circle window but I really just like to smash in whatever we have. Still, this means try to fit in as many big attacks into Arcane Circle while never delaying Gluttony for too long, losing uptime on your Shadow of Death buff or overcapping with Soul or Shroud Gauge points. That is basically all you need to know about the Reaper. On level 80, you mostly do the same thing but just without kickstarting into your first Enshroud. So it will be disaligned with your Arcane Circle, but you can at least plan one of the further Enshrouds into AC later on. Also the 5th attack in Enshroud will replace Communio here. Other than that, everything else remains completely identical and you should fit in as many Soul Reaver combos into the opener as well. Level 70 or below, use whatever you have at your disposal, because without Enshroud all the fine tuning doesn't matter that much anyways. So time the Soul Reaver attacks into buff windows of other jobs and make sure to hit positions properly. It is really that easy on low level content, that you can make sense by just hitting stuff that sparkles. So do exactly that while sticking to gibbet and gallows positionals if you already got them. And that's basically it. I haven't tested out this opener on many different fights yet, but when looking forward to the comprehensive guide I will try to show some variations of it as well as presenting other basics too, featuring the amazing defensive kit the Reaper is offering. Now have fun with the rotation in its entirety and with the new Savage Raid tier coming tomorrow. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy and keep loving Final Fantasy.